Hello, my name is Chen Phương Nga. I'm from Hamburg University of Technology. In this video, I will give a brief introduction about the future Internet architecture, one of the 10 modules of the Colibri course. So let's start with a very simple question. What is Internet? We all know that Internet is a network of devices connected to each other using Internet Protocol or IP Protocol. Initially, Internet was designed to connect computers only. But nowadays, a lot of other devices can be connected to Internet, such as mobile phones, cars, sensor nodes, and so on and so forth. And in the near future, we expect that everything, even the households such as washing machines, fridges, can be also connected to the Internet. Internet has become more and more complex, and it is not just a homogeneous network, but it's a network of heterogeneous networks. So in the Internet, many different networking technologies exist, such as mobile networks, local area networks, wireless networks, and so on and so forth. Internet has become a very important part of our private as well as business life. In the private life, we use Internet for email, streaming videos, playing games, making phone calls, online shopping, doing social networking, and so on. And in the business life, Internet is a very effective communication channel with the business partners as well as with the customers. Many business activities, such as sale advertisements, are now intensively carried out in the Internet. So, let's have a look at the development trend of the information and communication technology worldwide within the last 15 years. As you see, the number of Internet users has increased from less than 10% to more than 40%. And furthermore, the number of mobile subscribers has increased from around 15% to 95%, which means that nowadays almost everybody has a mobile phone, while the number of fixed telephone subscriptions is reducing. So we can say that in the future, there will be more and more Internet users, and mobility will be an important characteristic of the Internet. And not only the number of internet users, but the amount of generated traffic by each user has also dramatically increased. For example, every day around 247 million emails are transferred, and at least 1 billion YouTube videos are watched worldwide. And every month, there are around 2.5 million photos uploaded to Facebook. So, where does this journey lead to? The future Internet would have the following characteristics. First of all, mobility will become an essential part. All the Internet users would expect to be connected every time and everywhere. Secondly, there will be more and more devices connected to the Internet, which will create uh, so-called machine-to-machine communications. So the future Internet architecture should be able to support this. And the users will generate more and more content, as well as more and more traffic in the network. And besides, energy, security and privacy will become a very big concern of the future Internet. So, how can we cope with uh, these problems or with these uh, challenges? So, as you see that um, currently, Internet is divided into layers, from physical layers, link layer, IP, transport and application layers. To cope with the uh, different problems resulting from the fast increasing number of Internet users and traffic, numerical extensions or protocols have been added to different layers of the current Internet architecture. For example, IPv6 has been added uh, together with IPv4 to cope with the problem of shortage of addresses. And mobile IP has been introduced to cope with the mobility problem and so on. This just makes the Internet become more and more complex and very hard to manage. And therefore, it is necessary for us to have a new Internet architecture to cope with many recent arising problems in the current networks due to the fast development of the Internet. 
Uh, there are already several proposed architectures for the future internet, but in this lecture, we introduce you three architectures which attract the most attention, namely sof software-defined networking, overlay networks, and information-centric networking. The SDN, software-defined networking, and overlay networks are two new architectures which evolved from the current internet, while the ICN, information-centric networking is a clean slate designed architecture. In the next slides, I will briefly introduce these uh, three architectures and the details will be presented in the other videos. So let's uh, start with the SDN. The main idea of the SDN is that the controlling function and forwarding function are separated from each other. This distinguishes SDN from the current Internet architecture in which the controlling and forwarding functions are integrated one in one device. For example, in the current Internet, a router has to forward data, but it also has to compute the route for the data flow. This is not the case for SDN. SDN router or SDN switch will just have to forward the data. The route will be computed by a centralized controller which represents the network's intelligence. It is an automated software that can manage, secure and optimize the network. And about the overlay network, it is a network which is built on top of another network. Nodes in overlay networks are connected by virtual links and one can create multiple overlay networks in one physical network and each overlay network can run its own protocol and has its own management strategies. One well-known proposal for overlay network is LIPS, which is Locator ID Separation Protocol proposed by Cisco. Uh, this separates IP address into routing locator and endpoint identifier. So currently, the IP address uh, can, uh, can do the routing and also as an identifier for the host. But in LIPS, we have two IP addresses. One is used for routing and the other will be used for identifier, endpoint identifier. Um, the third architecture where we would like to introduce you is the ICN. Different from previous two architectures that are evolved from the current internet, ICN is a completely new networking paradigm which aims to design the network from scratch. The main idea of ICN is that the naming information is the focal point of the information of the point of the network, not the host in the like in the current internet. So basically in ICN we just care about the information itself but not where it is. In the module I will give uh, you will we will discuss the CCN con which is content centric networking a uh, concrete implementation of ICN. So that is some brief introduction about the content that we are going to study uh, in this module. The module is divided into two levels, basic levels and advanced level, like all the other modules. In the basic level, you will get the overview and the basic knowledge of the three future internet architecture that I just introduced a minute ago. You will have to follow all the video lectures read the additional papers for further understanding and do all the exercises. And in the advanced level, you will work in a team of two to three students. Each team will be assigned a scientific paper. You will have to read it, discuss it in your team to fully understand it, and then present it to another teams or to the other teams. Um, regarding the time schedule, you should finish the basic levels by mid-March so that you will have roughly one month for the advanced level until the midway seminar and the presentation for the advanced level should be self-organized among participating students and the tutors. So that's all for the introduction. Thank you for listening and this is now the time for doing some quizzes.